Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to create a sepia effect in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and the first thing you're going to need to do is get an image. So I have this image of a bell tower and after that we're going to be adding an adjustment layer of hue and saturation to our image. So in order to get to that adjustment layer go over to your layers panel and click on the adjustment layer button which is down here. It's a half black and white circle. So click on that. Go up to hue and saturation and we're going to be dragging the second slider which is the saturation slider all the way to the left. So now you should see that your image has turned to a black and white image. So once you have that done go back to your layers panel and now you can see that it has added an adjustment layer into your layer panel. And so the benefit of doing this over going to image adjustments and then doing your adjustment is that by using this, that makes it permanent onto your image. Now by making an adjustment layer, you can still turn off your layer and adjust it and still have full access to your original image. So that's just the benefit of doing that. So the next step in creating our sepia effect is to take and add in that orangish color that the effect has. So what we're going to do is create a new layer and we're going to go over to our rectangle tool and I'm going to go up and select a color of orange. So basically we're just going to take this slider and drag it up till you see an orange value and we're looking for an orange that's not um, something that's vibrant. We're looking for something that's almost like a tannish, almost uh, more brown than orange. So once you find something that's good, you can take and click OK. And then we're just going to take and drag out a rectangle over our entire image. And then we're going to take our blending mode from normal over in the layers panel and move it down to color, which is off stage. But again, I'm going to color. So now you can see that it's basically taken all the values in our image and turned them into an orange. So it's either a darker orange or a lighter orange. So what we can do now is take the opacity and just drag this down to, say, about 65 or so. And you can see that it has definitely um, brought some of that black and white through. So it's doled out the orange a little bit. So now we have more of the old kind of sepia look that we're, we're trying to get. So the next step, um, we have two more things that we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit of noise, and basically what that's going to do is make it look a little bit more old. So in order to do that, we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to just make it a white layer. So I'm going to click on my defaults, switch them by clicking this little arrow, then hold Alt-Delete, and it'll fill it with white. Then we'll go up to Filter, and then down to Noise, and Add Noise. And we're looking for an amount that's about 40%. Uh, we're going to put distribution to uniform, and then we're going to make sure monochromatic is checked on. Uh, if you're seeing multicolored monochromatic or multicolored noise, then you're going to want to check the monochromatic on to make it black and white. And just click OK. And then we're going to take and move our blending mode from normal down to multiply. And so now you can see it's applied this noise to our image, but it's a little bit harsh. So what we're going to do is just take and scale this down, uh, the opacity down to probably about 35 or so percent. So now basically we still have the old, um, we basically have an old look to our image. So if you see when I turn off and on the noise, you can see that it adds in a little bit more of an older look to it. So that's what we're kind of going to with this sepia effect. So the last thing you can do for your effect is add in a vignette. So basically we're going to go over and create another layer. And we're going to take and switch this and fill it with black this time. So Alt Delete and it'll fill it with black. And then we're going to go up to our rectangular selection tool, which is this tool right here. And we're basically just going to drag out a rectangle. And you can move your re rectangle around if you hold spacebar while you're creating it. So once you have a good selection there, uh, we're going to just let go. And then what we're going to do is go up to Select modify and then feather and I'm just going to put it on 100 pixels. Now this value is going to change depending on the size of your image. Uh, I have a really large image so mine's going to be more pixelated or it'll have more pixels so basically uh, I need a higher value here so just play around with that until you get something that's right. Click OK and then we're just going to hit delete and now you can see that we have a vignette going on and it's a little bit harsh so we're just going to take and drag down um, we're going to deselect and then drag down the opacity something around maybe maybe 70 percent. So now you can see we have a pretty good CP effect going on in Photoshop. So that's it for today's tutorial. Make sure that you guys subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back next week for another video tutorial. Thanks for watching.